Hey guys, it's Aaron, and welcome to True Devotions, a series of spiritual nuggets to help you throughout the week. And uh, we hope you've really been enjoying these videos. I know we've been enjoying uh, uh, doing them. And so, uh, you know, without any further ado, let's get into today's devotion. All right, guys. Well, our devotion today is coming from Jeremiah chapter 1. And uh, we're going to start here in verse 4. Uh, and it's talking about when Jeremiah was called by God. Uh, into ministry and it says right here starting in verse 4 then the word of the Lord came unto me saying before I formed thee in the belly I knew thee and before thou camest forth out of the womb I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations then said I ah Lord God behold I cannot speak for I am a child but the Lord said unto me say not I am a child for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee and whatsoever I command thee thou shalt speak <clears throat> And, you know, looking at this scripture, you know, and thinking about how God knows us. Before he formed us in the womb, he knew us. He knew exactly what we were going to deal with. He knew everything we were going to face uh, every step of the way. He knows. He knew it. He knows it. He knows what we're going to face tomorrow. And we don't really know what we're going to face tomorrow. We don't. But we know that God does. And, and you know, he can help us through those situations. And, you know, <clears throat> we could be like, uh, Jeremiah, you know, and uh, say, well, you know, I'm just a child. Um, you know, I, I, we make our excuses. It's funny how we all make our excuses for why we don't do things, you know, why we don't uh, go witness to people, why we maybe aren't at church or this or that. I mean, you know, there are legitimate reasons for missing out on things by all means. If you're sick and, and have things going on in your body or in your family and things that are out of your control, I, by all means. I understand that for sure and so does God he understands if you physically can't do something but at the same time when God has called us to something uh, if he's called us to do a certain thing on a certain day he's gonna make a way he's gonna make a provision he's gonna provide healing he's gonna provide uh, whatever it is that you need uh, to get done what he's called you to do <clears throat> he's gonna make provision and if you jump back to verse 5 he actually says I sanctified you I ordain you a prophet unto the nations. I believe God's got a plan for every single one of us. I'm sure I've already said that before, and I will say it again and again, I'm sure. But uh, he has called every single one of us for a purpose, for a plan. Uh, we're not all called to preach. We're not all called to uh, teach necessarily. Um, but at the same time, we're all called uh, to, to preach in a sense because the Bible says to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. We're all called, not necessarily to stand in, a, in front of a crowd of people, but <clears throat> sometimes preaching to the preaching the gospel can just be, simply be speaking to an individual, <coughs> showing them the love of God. That can be preaching in itself. Um, it's not just talking about you know, using doing sermons and doing all these different things, just talking about spreading the gospel, giving people the word of God and showing them the love of God, that they'll be able to know uh, that God is who the word of God says he is. And he's ordained every single one of us to be a witness for him. But like I say, we try to make excuse for why we can't do this, why we can't do that. Moses even tried to make the excuse that he couldn't speak because he had a speech problem and, and he did according to the Bible he had the speech problem but God said don't worry about that I've got that covered and he ended up using uh, Aaron to speak uh, so that what needed to be said could be said and it could be taken care of God's gonna provide a way even if you have a literally something you physically can't do if you can't do it and if God's not gonna give you the ability to do it he'll provide somebody that'll help you that'll be able to do what needs to be done God is a God that he will be our provider he will make uh, a way for us uh, and that's how awesome he is he loves us so much if we love him if we follow after him he will do what he said he would do he's not going to go back on his word <clears throat> and it says there it says there in verse 7 it says don't say I'm a child but you're going to go wherever I send you and whatever I tell you to say you're going to say it you know it wasn't a uh, uh, a threat or anything it was just a commandment to say hey uh, I've got this you know you you follow after me and I'm gonna uh, lead you where I need you to be and I'm gonna tell you what to say and you're gonna be able to be a witness and 
and, and show people uh, the way they ought to go. <clears throat> so if you get nothing else uh, from this message this morning, know that God knows us. From before we were formed in the womb, He knew us, He knows us, He's got a plan for us, uh, every single one of us. Uh, and all it is is up to us to follow what His Word is asking us to do. Uh, he's going to make a way for us. All right, guys. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that devotion. And uh, if you did, like it, share it. Uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you could do all those things for us. Um, and the biggest thing you can do is share and get the word out so that more and more people can see these videos. It's not about us. It's about getting the word of God out and that people will know that God loves them and we love them. And uh, we just wanted to know that. So uh, y'all be blessed.